are honored to have with us a very special guest on Harris Live today. Uh, so many people remember her from the game show to tell the truth, but she has been so much more to the theater and the arts over the years. Actress, performer on Broadway, and on and on and on. The credentials never end. We don't have time on this short show. <laughs> Welcome Kitty Carlisle Hart to our show. Thank it's you. good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. I was not aware of the fact that you uh, had been with the Marx Brothers in, in the, uh, what is it, Night at the Opera? That's correct. That you were the yes. ingenue That's in right, the film yeah. that was pursued. And sang by. alone, that lovely song. And uh, yes, I was on that show, it was 60 years ago. Holy smoke. Yeah, and it was, uh, it was fun. They were charming to me. They didn't play pranks and they didn't do things, you know, they're supposed to be doing <laughs> that sort of thing. They were very kind and we became good friends and stayed good friends for a long, long time. Harpo was the one that Moss, my husband, knew yeah. because he was the one that the kind of literati and the intelligentsia took up. And uh, that's he, ironic that most people knew Harpo was what he, what he was on his persona well, and thought on he camera. Was, thought he couldn't speak at all. Yeah, yeah. Because he was supposed to be mute, right. but he could talk, and he was very smart. Oh, that's <laughs> unbelievable. And I had a very good time with them. You mentioned being good friends with them. There are so many people in the theater that you were such close friends with yes. over the years. Uh, such well, that's what I do in my show. Yeah. I talk about the people that I knew and I sing their songs, like Irving Berlin and, and Cole Porter and George Gershwin. And very few people left who knew them as well as I did. Well, you mentioned <laughs> Irving Berlin, and we were talking about this backstage. The fact is, that Irving Berlin gave her the original copy of Easter Parade for her birthday. Now that's, that's right. got to be worth a heck of a lot today. <laughs> well, he also he he was a very good family friend because Moss and he wrote three shows together. And but the thing that most people remember me from is to tell the truth. Oh, I know. That's yeah. But, well, you were on that show for so many years. I was on that show for many many years, and very funny things happened on the show. If I have time, I'd like to tell you. Oh, I'd them. love to hear that. Well. We had, uh, you know, you remember the format of the show. We oh. had three people on. One of them was the, was the real one, and he was supposed to tell the truth. The other two could lie. Yeah. And so uh, one day we had three guys on who were supposed to be decoy cops. And we had decoy cops in the subways in New York then. Right. And the first one was dressed like an old lady with a gray wig and, 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 and roll-down stockings and a shopping bag. And the second one was dressed like an old professor with a black Hamburg and whiskers and crutches, the kind that always got mugged up around Columbia University. Yeah. And the, the last one was like an old Bowery bum. And he had a cap and a roomy eye and burlap around his legs. And he's the kind that always got mugged around the Bowery. So the reveal came and Gary Moore said, will the real decoy cop please stand up? And the real one turned out to be the old lady with a gray wig. And he took off his wig and he was a good looking New York cop. And he said to the second one, the old professor with the crutches and the whiskers, uh, what is your name and what do you do? And the old professor got up and he said, I'm Christopher Hart and I'm Kitty Carlisle's son. Oh. And I, I stood up and I pointed my finger at him and I said, I've been looking for you for two days. Where you been? <laughs> so Joe Garagiola, Joe Garagiola was sitting next to me on the, on the panel and he put his arm around me and said, you poor kid, you didn't even know your own son. Whereupon uh, Gary Moore said, number three, what is your name and what do you do? And the old bum got up and he said, I'm Joe Garagiola, Jr. <laughs> you guys questioned him and didn't even recognize him. <laughs> this is unbelievable. If you had to, and I know this is going to be difficult, and you don't have to on the Ruth Eckert stage or whenever you appear with this one-woman show, but if you had to pick out the most uh, exciting or, I don't know how to put it, the, the one person that stands out most in your mind, aside from your husband, Moss Hart. I but, was about to say Well, Moss aside Hart. from Moss Hart, uh, <laughs> who would that person be? That, I think George Gershwin. Out? George Gershwin. Yeah, I think he was the most uh, exciting, interesting, and we used to go dancing together, and uh, he took me out quite a lot. And uh, he, was, uh, he was very interested in me, and I was interested in him. But he died at 37. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yes. And so I don't know if our friendship had had a chance to blossom. Who knows what would have happened? I might have been the proud owner of all those 
beautiful oh, pictures he owned. And, <laughs> and the Gershwin tunes and everything else. Uh, well, I didn't care so much about that, but I really envied the pictures. Did you, do you get a kick out of watching these movies about people like the George and Ira Gershwin story? Not really. Just, They're all so trumped up and so really not true, no. And they're all kind of prettied up and they don't make much sense. But you have known so many people. Edna Ferber yes. was a close friend yeah. with yours and, and all of the people associated with Moss and then all of the other people in the theater on your side and the performing side of the theater too. That's right. This is, 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 just, is there anything you would like to have done that, that I you didn't might do, do yet or that you didn't no, do? No, I was in the opera. I always wanted to sing at the Metropolitan Opera. I sang in the opera and I was on to tell the truth a long time on television. People still recognize oh, absolutely. me, which I love. And I've had a wonderful life, and I'm very lucky. I hope that's wood. Yeah, well, it is. It's probably very cheap wood, but it is. Well, I'm a lucky woman. And she talks about a and lot of I've got of wonderful this. children. I've got two marvelous children and three grandchildren. And she talks about some of the greatest moments in her life and others' lives at Ruth Eckert Hall, and that'll be tomorrow, That's tomorrow right. afternoon. And if you'd like to call and arrange to hear these fantastic stories, the number is 791-7400. And the songs. And Don't forget the, the songs. That and I'm still them. able to sing. I sing quite well, too. <laughs> oh, she, we, we did back there, too. I got to hear that. Thank you so I'm much. Delighted to have been here. Thank today you. On Harris Live. And we will be back in a moment. Mike Peters on hand. We'll go to the other end of the artistic spectrum. Ha <laughs> ha!